I'm back. <sighs> okay, so I'm super excited. Um, we had a wonderful weekend. We went to uh, Renninger's in Mount Dora. It's like a really big antique extravaganza. Um, usually there's about 500 vendors. I would say there was a few less vendors this time around than usual. Um, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We usually just go Friday and Saturday, um, which is what we did this year. We drove up uh, Thursday night after work and we got a hotel room Thursday night and then Friday morning and Friday we went to Renninger's. Um, stayed in our hotel room Friday night and then went again on Saturday and then drove home Saturday evening. So it is Sunday and I am sunburned and uh, a little sore, a little sore, let's say. Um, your girl's out of shape. So, it, but it was really, really fun. So we go every year. It's just a big thing. We just really enjoy it. Um, I think a lot of people were, are kind of like ready to be out of their homes after all, not that COVID's over or anything like that, but I just think that a lot of people were cooped up for a really long time because, oh my goodness, it was so busy. Um, Friday was pretty quiet because it was very rainy, but on Saturday, it was crazy. It was so, 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 so busy. So anyhow, without further ado, I will share my haul with you. All right, so the first thing I wanna say before I show you anything is that this is not thrift store stuff. It's not thrift store prices. Um, this is all pretty much retail. So yes, obviously when you go to a place like this, you can kind of haggle a little bit with the um, dealers and we do, we haggle. But at the end of the day, they have a certain amount of money into the item and they, kind of need to get a certain amount of money out of the item. So we understand that. Also, like as a reseller, I understand that. So you guys know that sometimes I get a little grumpy about thrift store prices, but that's because thrift stores are big giant corporations. Um, not all, but Goodwill is. However, the mom and pop, like small businesses, like the the people that sell vintage, like those are my people. So I'm willing to spend a little bit more money um, and kind of give those people my business. So for, my husband makes fun of me because every single vendor pretty much that I find stuff at is usually like an old man, like a grumpy old man. Cause apparently I'm like a grumpy old man at heart. I don't know, we have the same, me, me and all the grumpy old men have the same taste apparently, so yeah. All right, anyway, I'm sorry. I've been rambling for three whole minutes, so you're probably like, ah, stop talking. All right, um, yeah, okay. So hard to know where to start. Okay, I guess I'll start with, um, if you guys watched my video from last year, which who knows if you did, like that was forever ago, but I got a lot of paper ephemera last year and your girl did it again. I don't know what it is, but I just love, um, old paper ephemera so I kind of can't resist it when I find really cool stuff so we did buy a good amount of old prints so I'm gonna have to try and get these things framed at some point but oh I don't know I have so many prints and then I'm just like oh my goodness I need to find frames for all of these so the first one is this awesome um print so i loved it because of the owls obviously you guys might know that i'm obsessed with owls so i just thought that was so phenomenal and then on the other side the other side's amazing as well so i'm gonna really have a hard time knowing what side to frame um because they're both super amazing so that's definitely gonna be a struggle um so this is an original book plate it's from a old antique book um, so it is not like a reproduction. There are a lot of reproductions on Etsy. So if you want something that maybe is a little bit um, less expensive than some of the original book plates, you can definitely get a reproduction. Or if you don't really care if it's old or not, but I do, I definitely care. Um, I want something that is um, authentic, but you do kind of pay up a little bit. The guy was really, really nice because I bought 
a few things from him. He kind of put all the things together and kind of did like a bundle price for us, but it wasn't like it was dirt cheap. Um, this awesome old bunny print. You guys know I have cabbage and I love bunnies. So I just thought this was super cool. Like, oh, love it. Can't wait. I'm going to put this out for Easter for sure. So very excited about that, but I'll probably frame it too and just like kind of have it up all the time because I love bunnies. I have another really cool bunny print too that that would look nice with. Oh my gosh, speaking of bunnies, Cabbage is like completely flopped and it's so cute. She sleeps like a dog, like on her side with her head like laying down and it's so cute. She's also stinky like a dog, so you know. Um, then I got a pair of these old um, butterfly prints. So I just love these. They're absolutely beautiful. They're, this one's from 1875. Um, and then this one is from 1850. So I'm going to, they're a little bit different, but not hugely, but I'm going to frame them and put them together because I just think they're really cool, like two separate frames, but I'm going to hang them together. I just thought they were really beautiful. So I got those two and then, oh, then I got these little guys. So I thought these were really cool. Um, this one and this one. So yeah, I'm super excited about those two. Um, I'm also going to frame these and kind of put them side by side, but I thought they were really, really cool. So had to get those. All right. So that is pretty much that on the prints. Um, I also got a few antique calling cards um or like kind of like business cards so they're all from different companies um this is from a grocer so these are 1800s um look at that isn't that so amazing like oh my gosh how is that even real that that was somebody's like business card uh, this is from a stationery company, um, Eichenbaum and Company from Pittsburgh. It's so cute. I love him. Little owl. Had to get him. This one's super weird. This one is from Bellamy's Blood Regulators. Like, uh, not really sure what that oh apparently they will cure heartburn headache and relieve all disagreeable sensations of the stomach caused by overeating or drinking they're a perfect panacea for torpid liver and all impurities of the blood caused by irregular habits irregular habits guys i wonder i wonder what an irregular habit constitutes i don't actually know if i want to know um oh also whoever uses tobacco should try them 25 cents per box. The, oh, oh, okay. Anyhow, so that's the little card. Like, I love this. This has literally nothing to do with blood regulators, uh, you know, like, uh, but how cool is that? It's just so beautiful. And then this is, this is the side I was reading to you. Like, awesome. So I got that. And then the last one, um, Jordan, bought well he bought all of these for me um but like specifically because of this one it's so hilarious um so this is from the great atlantic and pacific tea company um and it has all of their little like on the back it has all their locations so so rad but the front of it just like brings us so much joy so it's a husband and wife owl and they're like fighting it's hysterical that's definitely me and jordan just kidding but I just love it they're like an old married couple and they're owls legit so 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 cute okay um so that's all the paper ephemera I got bear got um my husband Jordan got this really cool old menu from um Knott's Berry Farm in California so he is originally from California so this kind of brought him back all kinds of memories and I we really really love the graphic on the front so really cool super super cool and there's like 
This is a little brochure too. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. That's so awesome. So awesome. I would say this is probably the 60s, maybe 50s, but awesome. So yeah, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with all that paper ephemera. A lot of the little cards I put in like um, the flower frogs, but the bigger ones I'll probably have to find frames for. I really need frames for those two Native American, those like three or four Native American prints I got the last at that estate sale a few videos ago. So I'm gonna have to like really get on eBay and start looking for some frames. Okay. Um, the next thing I got is this really weird owl. Um, so I don't know. I just like had to have it. I just thought it was so unique. So he holds pictures. So he has a little, a little base and he, he holds like a little picture. So I have quite a few of these, but I definitely don't have any kooky owl ones. Um, so I just thought he was really rad. He's very heavy um brass and i don't know i'm just excited to use that i just think it's so funny and so original so i enjoy him he's cool uh, okay um then i got this little souvenir piece so it's this like really cool little native american girl it i believe was a old um postcard that they um at the time that they glued on a piece of wood and kind of decorated to make a little frame and on the back it does have that it's a souvenir so it's a souvenir from international falls minnesota but it's just like really really cool so it's it's quite small so i'll probably just like stick it back in the hutch somewhere but i just thought it was really neat so yeah um okay then i got a couple pieces of cloisonne in case you are interested you guys know i love cloisonne they actually had a lot there um but you know i'm kind of cheap so i only got a couple pieces um i wanted to always want to buy more but I also want to try and get like an okay deal on it so um the first one I got that I'm super excited about is this one um I love all the detail on it this to me I definitely think this is an older piece just based on the fact that it has so much detail around it um it's not like antique but it is vintage um and I just think it's so beautiful look at the base it's not so so pretty so, um, this will go in the hutch probably with my other stuff that I've got. Um, so I got that one. And then the other one I got is this one. So I thought it was really cool. I liked the birds. And I liked this pattern. It's a little wonky on the top, but that's okay. And this one's not quite as old as the other one, but I liked how tall it was and I liked the black. Um, so yeah, got those. All right. Then I got a couple little pieces of jewelry. Um, the first thing I found I was excited by because I actually been wanting one of these. So uh, a lot of the time I do like half up, half down, and I just like do like a little like messy bun on the top of my head and I'll just hold it with like a little, um, like a clip. Or I have a little cloisonne butterfly. Um, I don't even know what. I guess it's like a comb that I stick in. I don't know. I don't know. It's not, I sound crazy. But anyway, I wanted like a little like sterling silver um, kind of vintage one. So I really like this. Um, it, this is sterling silver. It's um, marked and it has a little turquoise stone. So I'll use this um, and just kind of stick it at the top of my little like half fun thing I don't know and it is cute yeah so I like that and I'll definitely use that a lot I actually have been looking for one on um, eBay but I kind of like just didn't want to pay a lot for it and that was a really good deal so I nabbed that um, then I got a pair of cool little vintage earrings um, they are clip-ons 
but they're very gentle. I wore them all day yesterday and they didn't bother me at all. So they are sterling little owls. Um, thought they were really cute. They have um, a little turquoise stone, some shell, and yeah, I don't know, I just really like them. I thought they were cool. Little clips on the back, and yeah, they're just really comfortable, so I don't know, you guys know I love owls. So I got those, and then I got this cool snake. So um, I actually kind of wanted to find a snake bracelet. I was like, ooh, I kind of want to find a snake bracelet. So I've had it on my list of things that I've been sort of looking for, um, and there's so much jewelry, so, so, so much jewelry um, at this antique like fair, so you can usually find some cool stuff. Um, so I got this little wraparound snake um, bracelet. I thought it was cool. I like their little faces. And it like kind of goes like that. And it's sterling silver. Um, it's just like really delicate. It'll be nice to layer with other bracelets, so like that. Um, usually I get a lot of jewelry. That's pretty much the only jewelry I got this year. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. Then, um, Jordan got a little money clip, um, knife. It's like in this cute little box that says Japan on the box, on the back. And it's, it says inspection, engineering, and equipment, um, incorporated, so it's like this old enamel advertising piece um, and it's a money clip on the back and then it has like two little pocket knives on the side. So it's super cool. So he was super excited about that. He um, collects old pocket knives. So that'll go with his collection. Um, then I got this little spice tin. So it's so funny, the lady's like, oh, you collect spice tins? I was like, yeah, absolutely do not. I don't even really know what that means. Um, but I just love the owl. So of course the one I like is like the super rare one that's like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. Oh, I just woke cabbage up. Oh, she's mad. Um, sorry. So of course the one that I like is like the one with the owl. So I guess it's like, really rare and hard to find but I just thought it was so cool so I don't know I guess I was like in a spending mood but I just thought it was really really neat it's this little antique um tin of this little owl sitting on a crescent moon and then on the back it's like an old advertising tin so it opens like this um I would I'll probably use it um maybe for change or jewelry or just like as decor, cause I really enjoy the little owl and I'll just stick it in somewhere. But anyhow, I just thought it was cool. Sometimes you see stuff like this and you're like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna see something like that again. I think that's my biggest problem with vintage is when you go to like a regular retail store, if you really like something, you're like, okay, well, I guess I'll save up for that. And nine times out of 10, you can find it. Even if it's like not in the store, you could probably find it on eBay because it's not super old but I have a really hard time finding this old stuff after you see it. It's like, you just wonder, okay, am I ever gonna see that again? Um, should I get that? So I love owls, so I got it. Then I got um, a whole set of these old tile trivets um, that have little hooks on the back so that you can hang them. And I just thought they were so so beautiful. So um, I'm not really sure. I think I might, I will resell these. I'm not 100% sure if I'll list them together or if I will um, list them separately. I might do like two or something like that together, but they're so pretty. So they have this like little foam and then they're glazed like old tile. So there's that one. This one's my favorite. I kind of am tempted to keep it, but we'll see. Is that so cool? I love that. It's like so mid-century, beautiful. 
And there's this bird. Love this one. This one's missing its little hook. I'm gonna have to glue one on the back. Um, then these flowers. And then another cool salting guy on his horse. Is that so awesome? I just love these. I thought they were so unique and original. So super excited about those. Um, I'll probably um, sell those on Etsy, but I just couldn't leave them behind. I thought they were too cool to, um, to not scoop up. All right, then I got this little butterfly. So this was only $2. I was just kind of like looking at it. And at first I was like, ooh, I really like it. But then it has like bugs in it. And I was like, eh, I don't really know if I want that. Um, but the lady was like, it's only $2. So I was like, oh, all right. Well, I'll scoop it up for $2. Um, I'll probably throw it up on, e on Etsy. I know that butterflies are really popular. So I think somebody might love it. Um, so I'll throw that up there. Um, then I got this cool bear. I'm so excited about him. Um, so he's antique hand carved wood. His little mouth is open. His little eyes are glass. Um, I just am obsessed with him. He's so cool. He's got a little hook on the back. Um, I kind of feel like the bear is older than the back piece of wood like someone took the older bear and attached it to this wood but I could be wrong um but either way he's super super rad and I love him um and I'm gonna definitely keep him and hang him somewhere so love him We have a lot of like bear and bunny imagery um, because our, even though like my Etsy shop is technically Coco's Thrift, I named that after my Instagram, but our actual shop is bear and a hair. So um, that's why, I don't know. That's why we're just, we're just, we just really love um, rabbits and bears. So I also like have a, my husband's nickname is bear. So we call him bear a lot. And you know, we have cabbage and I had another bunny Eloise before cabbage. So I don't know, we just kind of really like bears and bunnies. So whenever we find bear and bunny stuff, a lot of the time we pick it up. Um, then I got this little watercolor. Um, I just thought it was so beautiful. So it's very fragile. Um, just kind of like a little lake scene in this older frame. Um, and I don't know, I have a whole collection of like lake mountain scenes. And so this will probably go with them <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was so beautiful and serene and just stunning. So, yep, got that. All right. Um... Um, then I got this painting. So, you know, just like I said, we love bunnies. Um, I just thought the painting was so cool. I love him. He's like so grumpy and just really sort of folk arty and just really, really cool. Um, the frame is nice, but I don't know if it necessarily matches my aesthetic. So we might, I might paint over it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's very, it's beautiful. It's just doesn't necessarily match our house. So I'm not 100% sure what I'll do with it. Um, it might make its way to Etsy, although I really love it. So I think I'll probably keep it. But if you're like, if you love it, let me know. But I love it. So probably staying with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so... The last three things are pretty big. I have one thing here with me that I can show you here. And then the other two things are in the other room because they're just one's furniture. So clearly I'm not holding that up. And the other is just like this really long picture. So I will scoot over and show you that in a minute. But first I'll show you this. So this is a really cool piece. Um, I'm really glad I got it. It was a little spendy. 
but I'm super excited about it. Um, so, all right. So what this is, is a piece of um, art that is created from cigarette silks. So kind of like cigarette cards that were like a gift with purchase sort of that were put in um, antique, well not antique, but like old cigarette companies used to do that. So these are probably from like around like 1912 approximately. Um, but these were these little like, these are all like silk. They're not actually silk, but like that was the, that was what they were called. They're little pieces of fabric. So they were um, inserts in cigarette boxes and people would try to collect them. So it would like entice people to buy more cigarettes. And a lot of the time it was, I mean, women smoked too, obviously, but around that time it was like mostly the men that were smoking for the most part. So this kind of got women to, well, the idea behind it was this got women to um, convince their husbands to like change brands or to smoke a certain brand so that they could get these. So there's all kinds of cool art that people have done with these. Um, quilts, clothing, just like a whole bunch of stuff. But this is a picture. It is framed under glass. It's quite big and heavy. Um, but it's a picture that someone created by sewing um, a whole collection of these silks on a larger piece of fabric. So it's just really, really cool. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, it's one of a kind. Um, I especially love the butterflies and the little Native American guys, um, but the flags are cool too. And the dogs obviously are super cute. So yeah, um, as soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh, I really feel like I need it. Um, it's definitely something that is very original. It weighs about a million pounds, so I'm not sure where I'm going to hang it, where it's not going to take the wall down, but I had to have it. Had to have it. Is it so cool? I mean, it's just such a conversation piece. Like, nobody that I know has this, so, and that's kind of like the name of the game with me, is a lot of the time the things that I keep that are like, or the things that I buy, like for me, are things I haven't seen before. So I've seen these silks before, but I've never seen them um, like for sale sewn together like this. So really, really cool. Um, I definitely think that like me thrifting as much as I do and collecting as much as I do, it makes it when I go to these antique places, I'm very picky and I try to only buy things that are either something I'm looking for or something I haven't seen before that's really unique. So it definitely makes it hard. I don't buy as much as I used to um, just because I'm pretty picky about what I pick up. But I, when I find something like this, it just makes it all worthwhile. All right, my friends. Um, so I'm going to bring you over to show you the other couple of things I got and then I will bid you adieu. All right. Do you guys want to say hi to Cabbage? Jordan bought her these stairs so that she can sit and look out the window, which cracks me up um, because she absolutely loves them. She sits and looks out the window like all day. So definitely hilarious, this bunny. Um, but her room is a mess as usual. As soon as we clean it, she redecorates bunny style, but just thought you might want to say hello. Okay, so a couple of you guys had expressed that you wanted me to show a little bit of our house, and I'm fine with doing that. Listen, it's a work in progress, but I feel like everyone's home is a work in progress, and we need to just love our homes with the way they currently are. So um, this is kind of like our little hallway that you go, that's our front door, um, and you just kind of go down this hallway to get to the dining room. That's where I'm standing right now, and that's where I film. Um, but this is our family room. Um, this is our couch. Um, I'm super excited about this wall. So we're currently working on it. You can see those three big giant schmushes. Um, we're 
mirrors actually, but they're really dated. So we pulled them out and then now um, we gotta get a painter to come and smooth it all out and get the wall painted. So, you know, always work in progress, but I'm very excited because it's a very high ceiling. It's kind of hard to tell, um, but I'm super, super stoked about it because I'm gonna do like a crazy gallery wall eventually. But anyhow, this is kind of like our little space. Um, nothing crazy, couch, rug, table. Um, alrighty. So yeah, this is the picture I wanted to show you guys. So it's so cool. Um, I believe it's Alaskan. Um, it's signed right there, um, Harem, I believe, B. Harem. Um, but it's an old textile that's framed. I actually had another dealer stop my husband when he was walking it back to the car, um, and he said that he was pretty sure it was an old scarf. So I'm not 100% sure, but it is absolutely stunning. So we're gonna put it here. We're gonna put it right here um, above the TV. So I'm really excited about that. And I think it'll go nicely with like our other Alaskan art. Oh, my poor plant, he's so sad. He needs some water. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, um, there's Archimedes. Hi, Archimedes. You guys remember Archimedes, maybe, maybe not. All right, so the piece of furniture that we got, um, I just shoved it over here in the corner because it's gonna go upstairs. Um, so we're working on upstairs right now. And that is where, um, that is where this guy's gonna go because that's where our office is gonna be. So, um, kind of hard to get over here, but it's an old Barrister bookcase. Um, it's an antique piece and yeah, I'm just super excited. I've always wanted one. So I was so, so excited to find it. Luckily, all the parts of it come apart, so it was super easy to get in the car. Otherwise, I don't know if we'd be able to get it home. Um, but yeah, I love it. Cabbage finds it quite tasty, so I gotta really watch her when she's out, but I'm so excited to put it upstairs in our office. Um, it'll be perfect for that. So yeah, all right, guys, um, that is all the things. All right, guys, that's all the things. Um, I hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to everybody that subscribes or comments. Um, I appreciate it so much. It really, really means the world to me. Um, don't forget to check out our Etsy shop if you feel so inclined to do so. And I hope you have a wonderful week. All right, bye guys.